Sempre dá um mês. Na sempre vez, cara. If you want to be a cop guard in this game, <laughs> stick around because it's about to get interesting. I'm aware that a lot of people got the game for Christmas, so I decided to do a Guard Academy where I'll be giving you guys everything that you need to know and that you need to be a comp guard or to be a good guard in this game. I'm not gonna waste y'all time. Make sure I hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. More importantly, turn on all posts in case you do not miss another video like one of these. Let's get into it. Alright, y'all. So first things first, if you want to be a comp guard, if you want to be a good guard, if you want to be the best guard in the game, one of the best guards in the game, if you want to just absolutely whoop some hardcore ass, you're gonna have to have the right guard build. Alright, so the thing is, there's no really meta guard build in this game. There's not a meta actual guard build that everybody uses. I feel like everybody has their own type of guard builds. And today I will be presenting to you guys my own 6'3 guard build, which is a small guard. And I will be giving y'all a 6'6 guard build as well. So for all my small guard users, y'all gonna have the 6'3. And for my all tall guard users, y'all gonna have the 6'6. Now for this guard right here, you wanna be 6'3 minimum weight 66 wingspan so y'all boys know me as one of the best guards every single year and the number one guard on youtube y'all know i like to three hunt y'all know i like to dribble the ball and have a little bit of dunking so that is going to be the build that i will be giving you guys today we're going to want to go with 96 3 81 midi 71 free throw we get agent threes on gold and limitless range on gold again y'all this is going to be a three hunting guard that can dribble the ball and dunk a little bit this is not going to be a super dunking guard with defense or any of that we're going to have our lockdown playing defense for us for the playmaking we're going to want to go a 95 ball handle 91 speed with ball and a 77 pass accuracy 77 pass accuracy is all you need in this game i can't stress that enough every time i make these builds there's always that one person in the comment oh bro why do you go 77 pass sack don't you need like an 85 no you don't need 85 but <laughs> i promise you you don't need 85 you know what i'm trying to say 77 pass accuracy is the best possible pass accuracy that's super super low and you can keep your attribute points you can minimize your attribute points you can maximize your attribute points all that though yeah so you have nothing to worry about when it comes to 77 pass accuracy because you get needle threader on bronze timer silver you get all that good stuff as long as you got needle threader needle threader on bronze and hall of fame it's the same thing i promise y'all now the defense again we're not running no defense we're going to put the perimeter defense to a 59 and we're going to put the interior defense to a 45 okay you do not need no defense on this guard build whatsoever for well, the physical you always want to max out your standing to a 99 on the guard build you want to put your acceleration to a 93 and then you're going to want to leave your speed at 86 so we can get speed booster on hall of fame last but very not least what makes this build so effective is that we get a driving duck okay it might not be a high driving duck might not be the best driving duck in the world but we still get a high enough driving duck with a 96.3 95 bow in with speed booster hall of fame a good acceleration and a good speed no defense at all obviously with a 45 driving dunk this is the build right here this in my opinion is the best six street guard build in the game besides the build that i recently made hey i'm gonna give you that one in the future but yeah continue you have built a three-point shot hunter and this is truly the start of your comp guard journey i gave you guys the best three hunting build in this game at six three now i'm gonna give you the best three hunting build at six six but obviously the stats are going to be better because i am or you are going to be a six six the point guard position six six height 180 weight six six wingspan so since we saw with the shoe and last time we're gonna start with the finishing 78 driving dunk 73 driving layup 53 close shot and a 72 standing dunk now on to shooting this 66 is different from my other 66 my other 66 had a 92 three-point shot this 66 is gonna have a 94 three-point shot with an 80 midi so i get hall of fame guard up hall of fame open looks on this build that i didn't get on my other 66 that had a 92 three so this 66 guard build is better and then now we're going to want to put our free throw to 71 from a 69 to 71. now the playmaking we're going to want to max out our ball handle all the way our spear ball all the way and our pass i guess to a 77 once again now for y'all boys that like having defense for y'all guards, we're gonna wanna go a 90 steal, and then we're gonna wanna put our perimeter defense to an 85. We're gonna wanna take our interior defense down from a 27 all the way to zero, and then we'll just put this on standard dunk, I guess. So boom. So this is the guard build right here when it looks completely maxed. I'm not gonna lie, you do not need block or interior defense. This is a comp 
guard build, y'all. Look at the stats. Look at the offensive stats. This build can do it all. You know what I'm trying to say? It can do it all. And you do get speed booster on silver. Speed booster on silver is not that much different from gold when you're on a 6'6 six, six at all. You're still going to move slow no matter what. And you're still going to have a 71 acceleration no matter what. So y'all boys know whenever it comes to having the best jump shots in this game i sit there and lab jump shots for hours so all of these jump shots that i will be giving y'all right here right now are the best jump shots in the game hands down so the first shot that i'm gonna be giving y'all right here right now look how that looks that looks absolutely beautiful this is going to be patty mills base oscar robertson release one oscar robertson release two oscar robertson is still a very 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 good release if you can get used to it it's a little slower than last year because the jump shots are slower but oscar robertson releases are something old and reliable that you can always go back to when you're trying something new and if something new don't work then you just go back to oscar robertson oscar robertson so as you can see right here i did miss that because i am tired that is another thing that you have to be cautious of when you are tired oscar option is going to be even slower so just keep that in mind though y'all but if y'all do not know you do unlock this at a starter three so if you are not a starter three unfortunately you cannot get petty mills base but i got something else for you now for this next jump shot this was the base this was the jump shot that i was using before his starter three before i even got petty mills base very very chicken very very efficient very consistent it's a little bit more consistent than patty mills but the reason why patty mills is better is because you get to shoot over people and if you actually learn patty mills it's absolutely unstoppable so this jump shot right here is going to be stephen curry base release one darius garland release two damian lillard as you can see it's a little bit it's, it's a little quick it's a little quick i haven't used curry in a minute you know what i'm trying to say but this is one of my favorite jump shots in this entire game because of how fast it is like i'm telling y'all this might be the fastest stephen curry base jump shot in this entire game so for this last jump shot this is a season three release for small guards season three about to be season four very soon this jump shot has been in the game for tall guards though but it's the same exact jump shot just named a different name for the small guards so for small guards you're going to want to look for Allen iverson base for tall guards is going to be t Mac. for small guards you're going to want to put oscar robertson release one for tall guards oscar robertson release one also release two colin sexton for small guards release two Sadiq Bay for tall guards. Four out of four speed for both. Oscar Robertson, 85%. Colin Sexton, 15%. For the Tracy McGrady jump shot with the Sadiq Bay and Oscar Robertson, 75% Sadiq Bay, 25% Oscar Robertson. Once again, four out of four speed. Those are all the jump shots right there from Patty to the two last jump shots. Not gonna lie, y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Now, yeah, we may have our jump shot picked out, but now we want the settings to go with the jump shot. Now, to get to the settings, I know a lot of y'all just got the game. A lot of new people just got the game. You want to click options. You want to go to options slash quit, and you want to go to controller settings. You're going to want to click on controller settings, and they're going to be right here. So first things first, you want vibration, function off, trigger effect off, shot timing and shots and layups, user timing for free throw timing, and then boom, this is what you want to look for right here, shot timing visual cue. Me personally, I use release. I just feel like release just feels better when you're timing your shot because there's a heavy delay in this game it's not as bad as it used to be when the game first came out but it is still there so if you want to use push or release not gonna lie it's your decision it's your personal preference i use release if you want to copy me go ahead you feel what i'm trying to say you're gonna be green bean chicken bean <laughs> We got the best jump shots, best builds, the best jump shot settings. Now we're going on to the best drill moves in the entire game. So with the drill move that controls how every other drill move looks in this entire game, we got Kyrie Irving dribble style. Kyrie Irving dribble style is the best dribble style in the game for a small guard okay the best dribble style in the game for a tall guard is either magic johnson or pro so just keep that in mind that when it comes to these dribble styles that i'm giving y'all it controls how every single speed boost how every single same size people's how every single move in this game looks so just keep that in mind y'all the central sides up y'all know that this never changes for me steve francis or reliable steve francis has been in the game since nba 222 this is what i rock right here if you are a small guard if you are a tall guard rock the aaron fox near and fox and steve francis are the 
the two best ninja shots of the entire game for the regular breakdown combo i don't think that this is necessary to be effective in this game but if you like to flick up on your stick or hold r2 and flick up on your stick do trigger it use that for for small guards but tall guards use the air and fox the same thing for the aggressive breakdown combo i don't really think it's necessary but if you like to do the regular breakdown combos or the aggressive breakdown combos put john moran on so now for the escape moves you can either use kimball walker trey young or john wall you can also use jimmy butler as well and De'Aaron fox is a good one as well i forgot to do a video on De'Aaron fox i will be doing a video on De'Aaron fox very very soon but yeah though yo as of right now i'm using kimber walker or trey young those are my two reliable ones and then we have the combos combo stephen curry you can also use pro the best crossover in the game is kobe bryant because once you're going up the court you can easily do that crossover right there it's very effective jamal murray behind the back this has not changed since the game first came out <laughs> if you like to do spins demar derozan spin pro hesitation and then last but certainly not least step back stephen curry for small guard john wall step back for tall guards motion style I'm currently using on my 6'2 right now is the Omaladin. You can use it on a 6'2, 6'3, 6'4. And the one that you want to use for a tall guard is going to be Dennis Rodman. Now, if you made it this far in the video, hey, you got the best drip moves, best jump shots, best build in the game. Now, one thing that we are missing is the dribble tutorial, but unfortunately, we will not be doing a dribble tutorial today. Aww. But I do have a dribble tutorial that's going to be right there on the top right. If you want to watch that from around maybe two weeks ago, still very, very fresh, still very, very new. But listen, oh man, that's all I have for y'all boys today. Y'all make sure to y'all go follow my Twitch down in the link in the description below, where I'm live at almost every single day. I have returned to Twitch. I have returned to live streaming. I love y'all boys so, 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 so much. I'll see y'all next one. Woo! Oh, and follow my Twitter. I love y'all.